Hi everyone, Matt Watson here from CarWow. So I'm sat in an AMG G63. Next to me is a Suzuki Jimny. And next to that is a Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. And we're gonna have a drag race over 30 meters up a muddy, steep slope. Because actually this video is all about which of these three cars is best off-road. So to find out, I'm gonna test them over six different off-road challenges. Come on, whoa! Oh crap, whoa! Slow down, Jeep! Whoa! Come on, come on, come on! I'm really worried about this exhaust. The winner of each challenge will be awarded three points. The one that comes second gets two points, and the one that comes last gets one point. Also, if two cars complete a challenge and one fails to complete it entirely, then the car that does that will get no points. At the end, we're gonna to toss up the points and see which car wins overall. So this AMG G63, it's a bit of a brute. It's got a four litre twin turbo V8 with 585 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque. It also has a nine speed automatic gearbox, a central diff lock and a diff lock on each axle. And of course, got a low range mode as well. That's Suzuki Jimny. Oh, it's only got 1.5 litre naturally aspirated petrol engine with 101 horsepower and 130 newton meters of torque. It's also got a five speed manual gearbox. It doesn't have diff locks, but it does have a low range mode for its four wheel drive system. The Jeep that has a two litre turbocharged petrol engine with 272 horsepower, 400 newton meters of torque. It's got an eight speed auto. It's got two diff locks, but it also has the ability to decouple its anti-roll bars. Plus it's got some seriously knobbly tires for some hardcore off-roading. Before we get on with the challenges, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on. Anyway, on with the challenges. I have definitely never done anything like this before. Come on, G. We've got all the diff locks locked, low range mode, manual, in rock mode, and I'm gonna pull off in second gear. Oh, in case you're wondering about this. I don't wanna get it dirty. You ready? You ready? You ready? Three, two, one, go! Come on, G. Whoa! Gonna win it! G Power! Smash them! <laughs> well, that's 585 horsepower for you, right there. Our second challenge is axle twist. Now, I'm a bit concerned about this because while the ground clearance of this car is pretty much the same as the Jeep and a bit more than the Jimny, the exhaust system is just protruding a bit and there's the expensive running boards that I don't want to ground out on a rock because they'll be expensive to repair. Mm. Here we go then. That Jeep is doing a good job up there, no problem. Look at it go. Both those cars in front of me have rigid axles. This does at the back, but not the front anymore. Oh, Jimny, bit of a traction issue. Oh, I'm really worried. Really worried about this exhaust. Oh, I'm taking instruction. Come on. Oh, I'm having to take it slow. I think I'm clear. I'm all right. I think at one point I had about an inch to spare. Otherwise, it was a costly bill. That's interesting though, Jeep bombed up there. Jimny behind it, a few traction issues, and then me I had to be cautious. So I think that is a win for the Jeep and a second place for the Jimny. All right, and this is the third challenge, a bank. We're gonna see 
how they cope at an angle driving along like that. I wonder how this little gym is going to do. I've swapped into it because I want to give every car a chance. You know, I want to even out the effect of the driver. So if I'm the worst driver, it is all fair and even. Oh, look at the G! Oh my God! This is testing how strong the chassis is, the rigidity of it, and the chassis articulation. The G, independent at the front, so that's not so good. Neither is its weight, it's two and a half tons. But it's got a very strong ladder frame chassis. In fact, all these cars have ladder frame chassis like proper off-roaders should have. This is a manual. Mm. It's gonna be a bit harder. Here we go. Come on, little Jim. Oh, freaking hell. Whoa, whoa. Gotta stay up there. Oh, that Jeep is just flexing and bending. That is absolutely wicked. By not having proper locking differentials like the other two cars and having to use the braking system, it's not quite as good at constantly driving forward when you've got a wheel in the air. That's one of the prices you pay if you're being cheaper. Whoa! Oh! Oh, come on! Hey, come on, Jim! I think I might have given its clutch a hard time. But that was pretty epic. Jeep won that. It's got the most articulation in its axles and it can decouple its anti-roll bars and that really, really helps. And its knobbly tires helped as well. The G did a good job. That's got second place. This thing though, <laughs> it did all right, but because it was so light, it was like bouncing around. So sometimes lightweight can affect him. I mean, this thing only weighs like 1200 kilos, but generally not too bad. Jeep, G, then this. So far then, we've done three tests and the Jeep is winning on seven points, followed by the G-Wagon on six points and this poor little Jimny on five. But it might be able to claw something back here with a maneuverability test. We've disengaged the diff locks on the bigger cars. Obviously this doesn't have any, but we're still in low range mode. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna send each car off and time how long it takes them to accelerate down this track, go around a really tight hairpin at the bottom, around a tree, then back here again to their starting position. And whichever car can do it the quickest, gets the most points. Right, NG Wagon, are you ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, he's got a bit of a awkward maneuver at the beginning. He's got his diff locks off because he won't be able to maneuver with them on, but still gonna find it a bit of a struggle. The turning circle of that thing is 13 meters. It's all about pulling power of that car. In fact, if you wanna see how much it can pull, click on the pop out banner up there to watch me do a tug of war with a G-Wagon against a bunch of gymnasts. Oh, it's made it on. Oh, I can see he's having to do a three point turn. <laughs> that's the thing that's not so good about the G-Wagon and it's tall, he's got to watch himself on those branches. I don't want him scratching my paintwork. Come on, G. This is taking forever. And quite slow through there because it's heavy. So it doesn't want to bottom out if it accelerates too hard. There we go, there we go, there we go. And that is a 56 seconds. I don't think that's going to win. Let's see what the Jeep can do. Three, two, one, go. Accelerated much harder than the Jeep because he's got a straighter start. It's turning circles 12 meters. Will it make it round in one go? There's a branch that's sticking out, which it could scuff its paintwork on. He's got to be careful there. Pretty good round there. A bit hesitant at the end. I think he's cocked it. He did well at first, but now he sort of got stuck. Can it beat the G-Wagon? Come on, Jeep. Come on, it's going to be close. Back into your parking garage, come on. And that is your time, 44 seconds. So beat the G-Wagon. I'm so confident. 
I'll start my own clock, obviously. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh, handbrake. Being light and nimble will help this little thing. I can absolutely fly around here. I've got a turning circle of 10 meters. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa, crap. Whoa. Got a bit carried away there. I thought I was going to end up crashing into a tree. But here we go. Lovely little chimney. And I've even got time to get and pick up my, yeah, my phone. To show, 30 seconds. So, Jimny wins that one. So that's three points for this, two points for the Jeep, and just one for the G-Wagon. The fifth test, it's all about hill descent control. How slow we can go down a hill. Now, it's basically the reverse of the first test. So far, though, the Jeep is leading nine points. Jimny now on eight points, and last is the G-Wagon on seven points. Okay, guys. When I say you've got to release your brake and let the car do its thing, and you're not allowed to touch the brake, the last one to pass the finish line wins. Three, two, one, go. Oh, wait a minute, this hill descent control is adjustable. I've got it at five miles an hour. Slow down, Jeep, because the G is winning. Now I've set it, it's the only one you can set. I'm winning! <laughs> yes! The little Jimny's the quickest down the hill. Oh, but it can descend slow because it is lightest. Then the G, which doesn't have a hill descent control system you actually press or turn on. It just seems to do its thing. This one can go to 0.6 miles an hour. I haven't even passed the finish line yet. Look at this. The Jeep is on 12 points. The other two are on nine points. So still everything to play for. Now it's time for the sixth test, a steep incline. It's all about grip and power. I'm going to see how far I can get up there in this Jeep. It's going to be in manual mode, low range everything, diff locks. The knobbly tires should help it. Just going to apply power steadily. Build up speed. Come on, Jeep. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. No, that's it. Oh, frick. That's scary. I got further than I'm actually at. And the cone marks where I got. On to the next car. All right, now I'm going to try the Jimny. It's the lightest, which will help, but it's also by far and away the least powerful. Let's go for it. Come on. Come on, you little bugger. Come on. Freaking awesome little machine! I love you, Jimmy! <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, it's so epic. Beat the Jeep at the steep incline, even though that Jeep had the knobbly tyres. Although they could have gone against it because they don't always grip that well. It's a bit like trying to run up a steep slope in football boots. Now it's time for the G-Wagon. Don't be humiliated by that Jimny. Come on, you can do it. Although it is the heaviest, isn't it? So that's gonna play against it. But it does have loads of power or diff locks on. Come on, G-Wagon, let's do it. Come on, come on, my G. You beauty. No problem. Oh yes! I tell you what, if that Jimny is a little Ibex, this is a big grizzly bear just hauling its way up. So, interestingly, they both beat the Jeep. And you know what? Considering the Jeep failed this challenge, it gets no points. This though, because it completed it, I'm going to give it three points. And I'm also going to give the Jimny three points. So when you add it all together, all cars scored 12 points 
So it's a complete draw. And that is not fixed in any way, shape or form. I didn't know it was going to play out like that. But I tell you what, seeing as it's a draw, I want you guys to decide an overall winner. So click on the pop out banner up there in the top right hand corner of the screen to cast your vote. Which of these cars you think won overall our off-road test? I can't wait to see which you chose. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video as much as I did filming it. And all three of these cars are brilliant off-roaders. Though only one of them doubles as a luxury vehicle, and it is, of course, the G. So I'll be taking this home. I should put the massage seats on. Yeah, have a nice relaxing drive at the motorway, and like the other two. Though, of course, this is quite expensive. This exact car is £160,000. That Jeep's £50,000. The little Jimny's just 20 grand in that spec we've got. Bit of a bargain. But for me, the G is the daddy. Oh, yeah, V8 power.